welcome to my channel uh, Kajirata online so today I'm going to share with you how we can use these QGIS to uh, import our case file so this is our case file um, associated with the uh, public health diseases that already been recorded in my country so we are going to give you some idea about the disease the distributions and uh, give you some idea where is the spread and also how severe is the disease are um, this data is actually um, gathered from um, some district and then we obtain it and then we try to use it to project the future cases of uh, spreading diseases in our country so before i begin for those who are new to my website you can subscribe it currently so this is the data we have approximately um, more than 15,000 data and i'm going to show you how we can produce a map a heat map uh, particularly for this particular exercise all right so after you open the qgis so the first step is perhaps you want to open the google satellite and for this particular example i'm just going to use as default uh, coordinate reference system we call it as a uh, epsg 4326 um, or wgs uh, 84 so my focus area will be in uh, petaling district so how to run this particular example you can just go here and then you can just um, um, import the csv files that already being recorded and then you can uh, set for the longitude and also latitude for this particular data so that the computer already understand the point coordinates that being used and then i'm going to use default geometry crs as the default setting for this particular example i'm going to hit the add button here and then automatically all the data from this csv file will be imported to my QGIS format and it's, it will be ready to be produced all right so as you can see here we have uh, very nice examples but um, of course some of this data are hardly to be seen because of the the nature of the color so how you want to change this one is basically you right click here and then you go to properties and then you can change uh, this particular uh, example into different color and then i'm going to click the size number one and then i'm going to apply it so this is the example of the disease distribution uh, in this particular district so this is not what we are going to discuss for today we are going to produce a heat map so the heat map will show you some um, concentrated area where the accumulations of the disease um, occurred in this particular district so how to do that you just right click over here go to properties and then we can just uh, proceed with the single symbol into the heat map so in the heat map as you can see here the radius is already being set at 10 millimeters um, for your information this EPSG 4326 is actually WGS 88, 84, which is indicate the um, the current position is being set into the degree. So if you want to do some sort of um, simple mapping, you can just uh, proceed with the map unit. And then I'm going to set it as um, in the degree, of course, 0 0.001. So please remember that one degree is equal to 111 kilometers so perhaps this is the equivalent to um, nearly um, i think this is uh, around a few kilometers okay and then you can just change the color ram into your uh, respective um, colors that you probably interested with so i'm going to use the magma um, and remember to change it into the end color of the magma here is is black right so if you did not setting it up it will become black in all of the uh, location here so to adjust it nicely you have to click this button and then go to edit color ram and then setting up the first color to be transparent and therefore for those who are non-cases area for example this area and so on will be uh, will be transparent as you can see 
um, after this. After that, you can just hit the apply button. So you can also making the rendering quality for this particular um, heat map become much more clearer by uh, increasing the quality of the rendering. So after I'm clicking this apply button, if you can see here, um, we start to produce um, sort of a non beautiful heat map because the the range size of it might be a little bit uh, high. Um, therefore, I'm going to change it. For example, uh, 0 0.01, so that you can uh, see it clearly. Okay, so this is much more better. So this is our heat map. Uh, indicate the locations of the areas which is uh, reported high cases so um, we can spot it as um, high intense area as compared to the other areas and perhaps this setting also you can um, change it in terms of their opacity uh, so that uh, you can further see what's happening uh, behind it um, in terms of the uh, conditions of the area for example the the probable um, locations that are much more concentrated with the disease you can see uh, in this particular area so if you are a geostatistical analyst or public health specialist perhaps you want to identify what is actually being happening around this particular region or around this particular localities and then you want to make a specific interventions uh, for this particular area in the future so this is a very short video um, discussing about how you can produce a very nice heat map using the uh, QGIS if you want to learn more please don't forget to subscribe and follow us and leave it your comment down there and um, we are happy to share further uh, discussion about this geostatistical package for you with that thank you bye bye have a nice day